Hello everyone, Trent to you here, and welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. So in the last episode, we finished up the first full moon operation, and now Yukari is telling us about the news. Oh yes, fewer cases of apathy syndrome. I wonder why that is. That would be wonderful if it was true. So yeah, we're just here to start blowing through March. Midterms are coming up. Ooh, and apparently Mitsuru will give us some good stuff if we do good on our tests. Which is how we are uh, the smartest in the world. <laughs> That's not an issue. Oh, hi, Junpei. No, if I'm not busy, but I am busy because I'm going to hang out with Yukari today. Yes, I'm free. Well, see you later, Yukari. And then there's Siori. Hello, Siori. I'm... I'm not sure yet. It's fine. Well, you know, just if we're really bored, we can go there. So, see where you can handle it. Yeah, we won't participate in shit. Wow, everyone's just coming here today. Well, the only person who like, didn't show up was like Toshi. Alright, thank goodness we don't have to run very far. Yeah, let's go home together, Yukari. I guess if there's anything I should really look up, it's uh, when the dates with Theodore are, so I can... Get that stuff down pat. Ooh, yeah, look, so we're getting our flowers now. I mean, yeah, flowers are cool, I guess. I don't know. A uh, that That's, um, yeah, I don't know. That's my favorite flower. Yeah, I'm gonna go with, like, a bear. Oh, I don't even know what those are, to be honest. Smile. Yeah, I mean, plenty of colors is great. You can have RGB flowers. Oh, is that so? Ooh, that sounds like fun. First time you didn't like seeing flowers. Oh, I, I imagine I understand what you're going on about. Yeah. Well, that's good that you, you got past that. Yeah, I wonder why too. So, so, you know, we get a little bit of a different side, I guess, of Yukari. We get, I don't know, just a, a bit different than what we got as the male. Oh, you're gonna buy a whole bunch today? Alright. Oh my god, 3,000 yen? Big spender. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> Baby's breath? No thanks. Oh, so we purchased a small bouquet, but we'll never get to see it. Where have you been? Oh, you know. Ooh. I really don't care about what your stuff was. But oh yeah, someone in the staff got hospitalized for some weird injuries. Wonder what that's about. Anyways. Oh man, it's time for it again. Practice it today. No. <laughs> I just love that, that. Practice it today. Alright, shut up, Mr. Dude. Uh, the answer is about 1,700 kilometers an hour. There are a few things that I'm pretty decent at now in this game and... Uh, some of the early school questions are one of them, and the other one is the Tanaka and the Tower Social Link. Speaking of social links, we're going to Emperor today, going to Student Council. And as I mentioned, this one is uh, essentially the same thing as it was before. Oh, opinion on what? Oh, the school uniform? They're idiots. Yeah, absolutely, man. We need... Power. A governing ruler. So yeah, uh, Hitotoshi's still the same old Hitotoshi. Will that change? Who knows? We'll have to find out. Maybe he'll get slightly horned up. <laughs> Never mind that. Uh, okay, see you later, man. Nice, we wouldn't have to waste any time. Hey, Junpei, let's go hang out. Yeah, I already got your ultimate persona, but I like you, so I hang out with you. Ooh. For no particular reason, I like the sound of that. Hey, I'm down with something to eat. Ramen or meal, maybe a beef bowl? What about takoyaki? Well, you know what I think, Junpei? Ramen. Absolutely. Yeah, let's go. Uh, oh, what's, what's going on? Junpei is looking at a middle-aged man standing off to the side. Actually, staggering would be a better description. He's also yelling something. Yeah, you know, 
day drinking's cool, right, guys? Fellas? Uh, let's just avoid him. <laughs> I mean, hey, true. The drunk notices you looking at him and approaches you. Huh? What you looking at? Junpei, not a fan. Yeah, absolutely disgusted. Oh, let's just go, man. Let's just go. Well, at least we're getting our ramen still. But now Chunbei's in a bad mood. Uh, hey, uh, no, no worries. Don't like seeing drunks like that? <laughs> True. Uh, me what? No. Uh, what will make it sound like an ass, Junpei? Kind of envy me. Actually, some parents said their kids would be better off without. Huh. So that's, that's not true. Yeah, maybe I did. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Junpei seems apologetic. But hey, it's it's time to eat. Who cares about these, these bad vibes? Never mind. The bad vibes are making it taste oilier than usual. Any oilers? Now your dad was always drinking, huh? Just sit there and drink all by himself. And every time he did, he'd get violent over the stupidest stuff. Ugh. That doesn't hurt at all anymore. Ugh. Tragic. I don't even say I have like an ounce of like sarcasm in my voice, even though it sounds like I usually tragic in a sarcastic way all the time. Oh, it must be really boring. You Junbei, do not hide your feelings, my dude. So yeah, we understand Junpei a little bit better now. Yeah, so if you recall, uh, there is a point in the story where Junpei does bring up that his dad was, uh, you know, a drunk. And then also in the answer, when we see Junpei's past, you know, the, his whole thing about him being in the mall, he's angry and his, his words were uh, like, what kind of person gets drunk off of wine coolers or something like that? Or cooking wine, cooking wine, it was cooking wine. So yeah, I mean... You know, we just get a little bit more of a window into Junpei with the FEMC social link, and it's so good. Well, now we just gotta eat food, because we're too sad and it's too oily. Uh, hello Mitsuri, yeah, I'm definitely prepared. I've been prepared for a few cycles, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so in this game, uh... One of the extra things Mitsuru can give you is actually a skill card. Because in FES, she would give you like an item that would increase your persona stats, but now we just get, we, we should get, uh, what you call it? like we get some skill cards and some like decent ones at that as well. Like it's, it's not worth not doing well because you'll sometimes get like, I don't know, like a media Haran or whatever. So but that's pretty good stuff. So as far as our itinerary for the day, well, first off, let me say, because I haven't saved in a couple of days and even though... I feel like I should know pretty well about these things now. I just got to be safe. We're going to be hanging out with uh, Bunkichi and Mitsugo today. However, I think this may be another rank up. So let's find that one out because uh, this would be originally be the day I'd be getting to rank six in a new game playthrough. Oh, what's up, Bunkichi? Oh, Mitsugo, don't cry. What's wrong? Oh, she's happy. That, that's that's good. <laughs> Would she cry when she met you? I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Yeah, so you know what? All the graduates from the son's class are getting together, getting the signatures, so they don't cut down the dang tree because it's like their teacher's still there. Oh, the many of them came to your son's funeral, huh? Yeah, I, I normally in a new game run, you wouldn't begin this until June. Am I the one who called them all? No. Oh, I'm not being modest. I'm telling you the dang truth. Uh, what's the female version of a samurai? Go Konichi? I don't know. I mean, samurai are cool, I guess. I mean, but oh well. <laughs> ah. Talking to old people is boring. Let's go talk to someone who just got born or something. Wait until I'm legal. What? 
Hey, you ruined my my segue. Stop talking. Oh, hey, Akihiko, what's going on? You're out of breath? Not feeling well? Yeah, so today is the day where uh, Akihiko lets us know that after midterms, he's ready to fight. Good. I need three people who are level 99 in my, my party at all times. Let's go to sleep. Uh, speaking of Tartarus, though, I, I know I mentioned a little bit in a previous episode about the uh, the whole missing people thing. Uh, so the reason why I haven't gone to Tartarus yet to clear the next section is because there are certain people from the social links and stuff that will be getting dragged into Tartarus. I don't think that happens for a little bit, but if you're trying to do a max social stat, social link run, uh, it may be worth not going to Tartarus until a little bit later than you'd like to, just so you can get everything done at once. Anyways, my segue about someone who was like just born, it's because Maiko's a, like a kid and Bukichi Mitsuko are very old. So we're gonna hang out with Maiko today. Now what do I wanna do next? Uh, I wanna go home. Now we're gonna go to the jungle gym. You don't wanna go home yet, huh? I wonder why. Yeah. Once again, this is pretty much the same. Uh, th this actually kind of changes a bit towards the end, as you as you may imagine. Uh, the, like the last few days of the game later, and there's like some minor tech stuff. Like that's the thing about like all the returning social links is that there are very minor things that they they at least didn't just be like, all right, this is just copy and paste, change every he to she or he to her or anything. Like there there are some changes for the returning social links. I keep saying that, but. I, I don't know what else to say at that point. But, I don't know. It's just, like I said, it's just like the dynamic change a little bit, but it's just the same. Oh, well, mom and dad fight a lot. They're gonna get a divorce, and they won't listen when she says no. Uh, yeah, sure. Remember how easy it was to make friends when you were a kid? Did, did I talk about the same as I think in FES? I can't recall. Yeah, just back in the day, you just like, I don't know, you're playing on the playground with some kids, and you're like, oh, we're friends now, and you're like, yeah! Ugh. No school today, and uh, this is the first of many of these. Now, we didn't really do a lot of uh, Oracle stuff in FES. We went there a couple of times. We will be coming to the shrine a lot in this playthrough. Now, speaking of... One of these over here, off story box, yes, the Inari over here, uh, you can give this guy a skill card and he will duplicate it for you, free of cost. It just takes a couple of days. But uh, we don't give a darn about that. Because we don't need any. So yeah, you know, this is just as it always is. Draw, you know, imagine a social link, draw a card, and bond increase. So we do one with Junpei. And lessons the believer, and what about our luck? You'll have bad luck. Be careful with your money. So a thousand yen just flew away. Uh, the first time I did this in my my test playthrough for the FMC, it immediately uh, not only took money from me but made me sick. And I was like, man, what the fuck did I do? Like, I get it. I'm just I'm just kind of going through this, but come on, you don't have to do me like that, man. All right. So starting up next are the midterms, and. We, we have to go there again. Persona 3 FES is the only game in this series that when there are quizzes and tests, it just keeps playing the song. Persona 4 didn't do it. Golden didn't do it. 5 didn't do it. Royal don't do it. And Portable, for some reason, doesn't do it. So the song keeps restarting. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, the start of the song it's pretty all right. You got you got some some good bass stuff going on there, but you just don't get anything, man. You don't get anything. It just keeps restarting, and that like it's so frustrating to me. <sighs> Whatever, I'll get over it. I won't get over it. That was that was just a bold face lie. Anyways, yeah. I uh, hope you have fun with these questions because I'm just kind of here. One more day of exams and then we just, we go again. Uh, this one is 
Nara, correct? Yeah, Nara. So we go to the last day so we can go hang out with Maiko again. Yeah, well, don't tell me about the last day of exams. Uh, yes, it is, Akihiko. Hell yeah. My favorite ask. Yeah, so this is Akihiko saying, like, hey, you want to keep leading the team? Well, leave it to me, Aki. And I'm so glad. Uh, yeah, he's also, he, what I accidentally sipped over there was that uh, he's on this note, like, hey, I hang out by the door to the courtyard. We should hang out. And I cannot wait to hang out with Akihiko because he is my beloved and I will date him. Uh, anyways, uh, being a broken clock twice a day saying the same thing. <laughs> Let's go to the shrine. Let's hang out with Maiko. Hello, Maiko. Not Hellbiker. Now, what are we going to do? I don't know. I'm going to get food in this link. We go to Wild Duck Burger? Sure, let's go. Oh, yeah. I wonder what toy they're going to give out. Probably nothing cool. Or if it is cool, you won't get the cool one. That was my luck as a kid. Because mom and dad never argue when you go out to eat because they're uh, well civilized in that manner, I guess. Are they going to get a divorce? I don't know, they fell out of love. No, it's so sad, so sad. It's not because of you. I mean, you're just kids who don't understand, I get it, but come on now. Now, we'll just, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to try to calm her down. I think we just waited for her to cry or stop crying last time. But, uh, I don't know, we'll, uh, we'll be outwardly nice, even though maybe it's just good to let her sort her shit out in her head. Anyways, that is rank two with Maiko. Again. Uh, yeah, no problem, I guess. Ah, uh, you're back. Senpai, I hear you're fully healed. Congrats, man. I need to catch up on my training. I've slacked off for a whole month. Shouldn't you take it easy, though? You don't want to re-injure your arm. I've already wasted precious time. Besides, we found another Persona user. We did? Sweet. Is it a girl? Actually, it is. She's a junior who goes to our school. Fuka Yamagishi. Do you guys know her? Yamagishi? Oh, that girl in 2E. She gets sick a lot from what I heard. I don't see her at school very often. She was at the same hospital as me. That's how we found out about her. But maybe she's not cut out for battle. I had an evoker made for her, too. What? We're giving up on her already? I was gonna offer her some private lessons. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm always thinking the same thing. Bingo! Yow! Retract those claws, ladies. I'm totally a hip happening teen. You dig? Loser. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Come on. I'm a guy. What'd you expect? Oh. Yeah, that was a... Uh, I, mean, I think that's new to this. and I don't remember it's... I, actually, I don't recall if that happens in the mail route in Portable or if that's just a girl thing, but I don't know. I just find that... Uh, oh, so funny. Junbei. Perv. I don't know why they like, I mean, like, I mean, FES kind of did, did that a bit. It's like, oh, look at Junpei, he's a pervert, but Portable definitely kind of uh, juices that that part up. Who's calling me today? Uh, hey, Ryo, no. Hi, Yukari, no. Cool, it's just them. My favorite is uh, when someone calls me and then I say no, and then I just go do the Oracle. I think that happens a few times. And, uh, well, today's not the first of those events, but we are going back here to the shrine today, and we are going to draw another Oracle thing for Junpei. I'm assuming that there's quite a lot of points needed to, uh, be gotten in between these ranks. Well, fair luck. And money may be in our future, so cool. A thousand yen? Easy. Ooh, exam results will be posted today. Let's go find that one out. Uh, yeah, you know me. Oh, I guess I can understand that. 
Come back for your score. Yeah, that won't work. And then we're talking about Fuka. She may be kind of weak, but hey, yeah, more Persona users are definitely cool. I hope one of them's a dog. So let's go see what our results are. And well, no surprise, we scored the highest in the class. And so yes, if we go talk to Mitsuru, uh, I think tomorrow is the day she's in, we can get something. Shut up, Miss Toriyumi. I'm going to sleep. Right in front of you, in your classroom. And now that we've slept and we feel great, we're going to go play volleyball. Hello, Ryo. Oh, I'm definitely going right now. Let's see what's going to happen today. So just participate in the volleyball club practice. Most members are missing. Go figure. Uh, yeah, where, where is everyone else? Oh, no one knows. Can I borrow some of you guys' tape? Look, it's Yuko. We don't get to have a link with her, but she's still a part of this. <laughs> wow. Group date. Don't know if you should be appalled or jealous. Uh-oh, someone, someone spilled the tea, and that's not a good thing. Yeah, I don't think she knew. Oh. Yeah, who needs to play sports when you go on a group blind date? <laughs> Is that like a big thing in Japan or something? Yeah, I wonder why they do that. Hmm. I wonder if that's the reason. <laughs> yeah, calm down now, okay? Yeah, what's wrong with taking a breather? You got you you are you you a lung user or are you not a lung user? Ooh, hit where it hurts. Yeah, she's she's the volleyball team leader. <laughs> Maybe they did forget about it. Oh, well, they didn't forget about it. They just wouldn't do it if they knew this. Yeah, well, you didn't. You, you can't have precognition. <laughs> oh well, uh, there goes the rest of them, I suppose. Jesus. Well, we are dealing with some kind of a situation here. Uh, I don't think they care if you're done or not. Yeah, it's not your fault, Yuko. Don't you worry about it. Oh, yeah. yeah making peace with them would be a smart move. Uh. <laughs> uh, oh, a oh, what? Uh, what's, what's going on? Why is she... What's up, Yuko? Uh, yeah. Sure, yeah, I can do that. That's like almost funny coming from Yuko. I mean, then again, I guess she's used to it because she's had to like babysit Kaz. Well, yeah, fair enough. I'm, I'm, you know, I appreciate that you're willing to help, though. Yeah, did we ever learn Yuko's last name in Nuffy? Yes, I don't think we did. Hey, nice to meet you too, Yuko. Again. Am I gonna leave? No. Oh, you want to be left alone right now? Nope. Yeah, don't worry, Rio. Uh, us second-year girls gotta stick up for each other, or whatever Yukari said. <laughs> All right, so the the uh, central conflict is starting. Well, one of them, well, one of the forking paths to the central conflict is starting to make itself known a little bit. Uh, hey, Junbei. How do I do on exams? I aced it. <laughs> Yeah, for more than one reason, I imagine. Saying I have a one-track mind. Are they wrong? Ah, well, never mind. He's already over it. Yeah, and yeah, Junpei's just over it immediately. Just girls. Oh, that's all I care about. Uh, what's up? Out with it. What's wrong? So or what? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, no. So I'm hanging out with you, Kari, today. Speak of the devil, there's Yukari. Oh yeah, so, yep, lunchtime hour, cool. Uh, let's go see if Mitsuru's downstairs and see what we may get before we hang out with anyone. There she is. What's up, Mitsuru? Oh yeah, uh, thanks. 
from the chairman. It's a reward for effectively balancing school and battle. All right, we got a page card set. Yeah, we have a diorama skill card, which at this point in the game, dioramas is like, that, that's a good skill. Oh, shit. Huh. Huh. All right. It's really windy today. The thing that concerns me is that it's not even windy right now. Like it didn't, like there was no wind blowing and my light turned off and it turned back onto a default color. <laughs> Which means that it was enough to like, oh, it, I think it's just some my internet's out. All right, we're fine. Uh, I thought it was power related and I was about to freak out. Okay, so we're gonna hang out with Yukari today. Uh, good thing I saved last night. So in case the power does go out, I don't have to like redo much. Uh, karaoke? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh no, a kid. Yeah, so you, this is uh, pretty similar to the one with Makoto Yuki there. So just a kid lost in the mall. But uh, I think we actually get a bit of a different result as far as dialogue goes. Hey, don't cry, kid. We're here. You're two new moms. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we can get help over there. It's a, we, we don't even see the police officer in this camera angle, but you know, it's whatever. Yeah, that's that's good that he was able to. Yeah, who knows what they were thinking. But what? Oh, your mom's so different? Yeah, you did say you weren't close. Oh, sad Yukari. Oh, a terrible one, huh? Oh, well, what made her happen? Oh, that, okay, so yeah. Dad goes kaplooey. Uh, we don't know that yet. Uh, dad dying than that. Yeah, who knows? Uh, hey, yeah, you know what? I'm right there with you, girl. Yeah, sure. See, the two of us have gotten closer. Like, sorry, I have to do some uh, admin work on responding to text about internet being out as I'm recording. Excellent, excellent host right here. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, okay, okay. God, even when we're not a guy, we're just being told, yeah, I'm gonna go do this, leave. Oh, uh, lunchtime hour. No, I'm not going. No one else come here. I'm uh, not going, but I am gonna talk to you. So yes, now that we are rank three with Rio, uh, because, well, if you remember, in FES, it wasn't until Yuko's rank 4 until we learned about the monk. Well, we don't have Yuko, but if we talk to Ryo... Yes, some sort of school club going on in Polonia Mall. Oh, Yuko was just talking about, huh? A Buddhist monk gets hammered on sake and starts blab blubbering to you. Uh, that sounds like the kind of club I'm interested in. So yeah, we've obtained information about the monk who appears at a club. And now that we've done that, we are hanging out with Bebe today. And once again, this is mostly the same, if not exactly the same, uh, except for, you know, actually, no, there, there is a bit of a difference with this, actually, and we will, we will talk about that. So we're going to make a phone strap or something, and that's what it said. The color, it is sutiki beautiful. Yeah, okay, thanks, dude. Yes, now we obtained a, a Japanese strap, so uh, we will have a few opportunities in this club to make some things that we could then use as a gift for a date or something. And um, this will also go to a different club we'll be getting a bit later as well. Which I, uh, well, I'm getting ahead of myself, I won't talk about it now. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have some sweets, it's gonna be a good time. Loves the culture of Nihon. Uh, and then we just tell him it sure is. Wish you were born here, yeah, man. Weeaboos. Weeaboos and Westaboos. Yeah, you, you better tell your aunt about that. I surely hope nothing happens to your aunt. <laughs> Speaking of ants, I hate ants. I don't know why ants decided they wanted to use my house as a place to live. And I don't know why they won't leave. But they won't listen to my eviction notices that I scream over a megaphone.
Well, hopefully they don't grow to ginormous sizes and get into cahoots with giant spiders, giant bees, alien robots, uh, giant alien frogs that everyone says look exactly like humans. Play EDF, it's good. Oh, hey Junpei, you've been talking to me a lot recently. What do I think? What's the matter? Oh. Uh, uh yeah. Face looks so familiar. Looks kind of weak, but yeah, whatever. It's, that's not worth the action button sound effect. Oh, hello, Mr. Edagawa. I don't need to listen to you anymore. Nice fucking lesson. <laughs> it's fine. The Vaxan still has a little bit of work left in this series. Uh, speaking of Junpei, we are hanging out with Junpei today. So let's go hang out with him. So once again, at the only place in the world, the ramen shop. Oh, well, thanks, man. All right, I'm eating up. Yes, sir. Thanks for the food, man. Is that the sound of eating food? Um, maybe. What do you mean? Oh, what's going on? I don't like that you're not talking to me. I haven't heard what. Um. Uh, what's what's going on? Uh, uh, what would I get mad at you for? Supposedly there are these photos of you going around. You're not weird pictures or anything. They're of you in your gym clothes. There are other girls in them too, but you're right up in the center, so uh, I think whoever took the pictures was aiming specifically at you. That's disturbing. I mean, yeah, but yeah, you're also right. One of the guys in a different class found it. Huh. Yeah. But the original's still out there. Hmm. Yeah, that, that is a normal. I wonder if I'll be in danger of having a picture of me taking it with you. I have to find who it is and kick his ass if it happened. See, and once again, this is the kind of shit I love. You know, as I as I was saying, you know, Junpei is always the... It, like, his whole personality, a lot of it is like, Oh, I love girls, haha, <laughs> girls, this is great, girls, girls, girls. But, when it actually comes to a point where, like, there is some actual, genuine, creepy stuff going on, Junpei is the first person to be like, Look, here's what's going on, this is kind of fucked up, be careful. Like, I love it, I love it, I love Junpei. You know, my, my opinion on Junpei was not exactly super great in my first playthrough of, of FES. Like, even at the end of it all, and then after I played it again, and then I, I had to play it again and again for this, I, I like Junpei a lot. I don't think he reaches the... I don't know, he doesn't maybe reach the highs. Or maybe the average level of him isn't as good as someone like Yosuke or Ryuji, but Junpei is, like, uh, they're all so close up there. So close. Yeah, how to go about it. Uh, I'll, I'll forget about it. Yeah, photos? Hmm. <laughs> uh, who cares about your conversation? Yeah, the 10th graders are teasing someone. That ain't good. I wonder who they're teasing. Hopefully it's no one that I know. Mr. Adagawa again? Shut up. We're going to sleep. Don't bother me ever again. <laughs> so much time hour, Bebe, we are not going to your club. And that's, he's the only one who wants to ask us about that today, huh? How crazy. Ah, what a workout. I've got to teach those freshmen how to clean up properly. <laughs> hmm? So, I pretended to take a picture with my cell phone. She freaked out and started crying. Like it was the end of the world. You should have seen the look on her face. It was priceless. Oh my god! I have never laughed so hard in all my life. <laughs> <laughs> They're making fun of someone? Don't they have anything better to do? Where's that 
voice coming from? What voice? I don't hear anything. What's wrong, Maki? Maki! Uh, uh-huh. Are you okay? Sorry, what were we talking about? About time they left. I can't stand girls like that. See, I guess one thing as well is that, uh, see how there was no cutscene at the start of the game where the, the guy, I don't know, gets all shadowfied when he's listening to his radio or whatever. Because, uh, like, I don't know, if I don't think that sound effect plays before in FES, but see how we, we in, in this, in Portable, we hear that sound effect when the guy like gets the shadow calling to him, then he becomes goop. We're kind of like, oh, OK, so that, that's happening there, kind of. Uh, anyways, we're going to the student council today. Rank three, Bay Bay. Oh, he's got on him for both our sakes. Well, I wonder what that's about. Uh, what's up, Chihiro? Yeah, what, what is he talking about, huh? Yeah, so this is the start of the cigarette butt incident. Oh yeah, don't get Mitsuru involved. Please. Uh, it's on Avid. Yes, what, what a terrible event this is. Yeah, it's our responsibility to be, I don't know, rent a cops or something. Even worse, we're just, we're not even like hall monitors. Yeah, sure, we deal with a lot of BS, Satoshi. You know, the only BS I'm seeing here is the BS I have to deal with from you until you realize the error of your ways, dude. Oh, man, the teacher's pet insult coming out. We have some fighting words, baby. Uh, no. No. Say, you know, Chihiro doesn't have to, like, worry about stuttering about everything because we're just a girl. But, that, you know, that, that, that does beg the question. Does that problem of hers just never exist in this timeline? Does it never get solved? Uh, which is a thing I don't think I've, I've mentioned. Word. But, uh, in the intro to this game, there are two things, like, you know, FES, or rather, the regular Persona 3 intro had the whole, like, Memento Mori thing, which is still, of course, a, just a fucking huge part of this game in general. But there are two other things that this game kind of deals with in a way, and that would be the butterfly effect in Chaos Theory. Uh, so, I mean, of course, like those questions like, oh, you know, does Yuko ever find a re like the resolve to want to be a trainer? Does like whatever happens with Kazushi and his knee, things like that. It's like, you know, just the, I don't know. I'm trying to remember exactly like what the butterfly effect type thing is, but it's like, you know, I, I don't remember the exact definition. I'm not going to sit here and just pretend like I am even close to remembering it, but um, I don't know. None of that stuff really props up for a little bit, but when it pops up, oh boy, does it pop up. Yeah, who cares about anything weird going on at the school? Not me. If you care, watch my FES playthrough. Did you hear about that girl in 2E? Yeah, they haven't got a clue. Isn't that bizarre? Man, can you believe these people? So, did you hear the details? Uh, about what? Well, a girl from 2E went missing last night. This morning, they found her lying on the ground in front of the school gate. Nobody knows what happened, and supposedly, she's still unconscious. Morning. Yo, Yucatan. This is a tough case, even for Junpei Iori, ace detective. Ace detective? Are you stupid or something? More like stupid ace defective. Hey, I resent that. Anyway, where have you been? I was talking to the teacher. That girl they found? I saw her yesterday on my way back from practice. She seemed okay then. Whoa. Now that's really strange. Yeah, oh, I wonder what that's all about. Eh, nothing to worry about, I'm sure. So we're going to the shrine again today because it's time to hang out with Maiko. Hello, Maiko. Yeah, what are we going to play today? It's a great question, kid. Because I don't even know anymore. 
I seen striped shirt. Oh, yeah. So here is our first flag for the Sun Arcana. Oh yeah, sick striped shirt. Oh, never mind. He's not sick. He's just striped shirt. You know, I, I still find that. Uh, I don't know. I, maybe interesting is the wrong term. But I do like the fact that Akaniri has, like, the foresight to be like, oh, like... Like, yeah, I'm fucking sick and dying, kid. But he's like, oh, I'm, I'm just joking with you, kid. Uh-huh. Oh, looks like it's time for us to go get Takayaki, I guess. Yeah, see you around, striped shirt. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, so Sunday's when he's here. But it, who cares about that anymore? It's Takayaki time, god dang it. Oh yeah, don't burn up. That'd right, be good. He put too many in his mouth at once. Yeah, uh, maybe that's how they're getting a divorce, kid. Because you shoved too much takoyaki in his mouth. Got a birthday soon. Oh, he'll be there. Don't you worry. No, it's still. Oh, the nerve. I don't know. I, I find it funny. I make fun of it, but I'm pretty sure most of us as kids were like that. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, I have the, the worldview of a Midwest suburb uh, living person. So that's that's the angle I got this from. I can't speak for anyone else's experiences, but I know several Midwest suburb livers like myself who thought the same way or something. Uh, you don't want to miss laundry day. Well, oh, hey. that's going to be it for this episode of Persona 3 Portable. Uh, next time, we go to Tartarus. So that'll be fun, because it's time to start getting people to 99. And I can't wait for that shit. So until then, I'm Trentia, and you guys have a good day.